What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Wanted to just do a quick update on the tank. I am getting some really good growth. Haven't added anything, haven't lost anything. Um, I wanted to tell you about the, the method that I've been using the last, I don't know, two or three months. Uh, some of you may have heard of it. It's called Reef Moonshiners. I know those of you who just say do water changes are gonna be shaking their head. Um, but but I like it. Uh, on my last tank, I used the Triton method. I quit doing water changes. I was dosing their elements. But that stuff is really expensive. The Reef Moonshiners is a lot less expensive. And uh, a lot of people have had success for, from it, from using it. I think I originally heard about it from Mike Paletta. A lot of you probably know who he is. Really smart guy. He's been in in the uh, saltwater tank and freshwater for that matter for years and years. One of the first. Um, but basically you get an ICP test. They prefer you do the ATI, which you know are, are $5 cheaper. Kind of interesting, I, I used my Triton test to do my ori original correction doses. And when I got an ATI test, uh, a while later, my boron was really high. So something between those two tests isn't, you know, exactly the same because I should have been at the correct levels if the two ICP tests tested the same way. So something to be careful of if you are going to try something like this. And they weren't outrageously high, but they were at the upper level of being dangerous and I think maybe that's why my clam hasn't been you know fully happy um, it's open right now not all the way though uh, and it starts to close up as, as the day goes on I also strangely have two different frags of pink lemonade in here one of them's got polyp extension one of them doesn't I don't know if the other one's not happy because of you know a certain elements high zinc was a little high as well as boron or maybe a fish just picked at it a little bit and, and now it just doesn't show polyp extension during the day. I have no idea. It's kind of strange. Uh, pretty much everything else has polyp extension. Uh, like I said, everything's growing like crazy. I did add another. So I have a, uh, a Kalkwasser reactor or a Kalkwasser um, mixer or whatever you want to call it. And it's got a stir bar and it, and it kicks on every so often to stir it up. So I added another stir during the night when I'm dosing Kalkwasser because it wasn't keeping up. And, and hopefully I'll be able to do that for a long time, just kind of add add stirs to, to get that saturated Kalkwasser solution up and um, keep my alkalinity up. pH has been really pretty high, um, which I like. It's been staying above 8.1 and kind of above 8.2 for the most part. And from what I've been researching, you know, you're, you're pretty safe up to about 8.7 before you start to do any damage. And, and I can see a difference, you know, keeping the pH up is just having stuff grow like crazy. You can see that Anacropora on the left-hand side of the screen. It's just huge, almost the size of both of my fists put together. It actually fell off the rock the other day. I had to glue it back on. Unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't encrust really. It's just all growing from one point. Uh, so one of these giant tangs probably bumped it and, and knocked it off. Um, and then that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you've watched the last couple of videos, I'm sure you know it's been a couple of weeks. You can see a huge difference in the growth. I can move you around a little bit here. Got the Bill Murray is going crazy. Dan Aykroyd, um, cool stag in the, I think it's a stag in the middle of the screen there. Don't know what it is. If anybody knows, or thinks they know, I mean, I guess you can't really tell from this video, but it's got bright blue tips and purple coralites with yellow at the very tips of them. Pretty interesting. I'm sure it's named. Um, I got it in a big pack. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, new Gen 2 
Flare C filter roller has been working great, uh, better than the Gen 1. I think I've been a couple months on the roll. I'm about to have to change it, but real happy with how that thing's working. Uh, other than that, everything's just going good. Just want to do a quick update. Thanks for watching.